In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can use HubSpot forms and have those contacts go into your MailChimp account. So if you have a HubSpot account, you know that they have lead capture forms. So with those forms, you can collect data like email addresses, first name, last name, and any other type of information that requires their input. But if you are just on the HubSpot free plan, you're pretty limited on what you could do with HubSpot forms. So with MailChimp, you'll be able to send your marketing emails. And with HubSpot, you can collect those leads for your CRM. So I'm going to show you how to connect the two. We're going to be using a tool called Zapier. So Zapier is a third party tool that allows you to connect different apps. So what we're going to do is connect HubSpot and MailChimp. Now, before I go over this Zapier um, integration, I want to talk about the MailChimp app inside of HubSpot. So they do have an app. If you go into the app marketplace and you type in MailChimp, you'll see there's two different different versions. So you can uh, sync contacts and email activity between HubSpot and MailChimp or data sync, which is sync contacts to a with a I don't know what that is. MailChimp audience. There we go. So both of them have OK reviews. Um, this one has like three and a half stars. And then this other one um, has even less than that, unfortunately. And I think part of the reason is because this is not really monitored that well. Right. So this has three stars. They're not really the integration for inside of HubSpot is not that good. So I think doing it this way through Zapier will give you a bit more functionality um, for what you can do. And what I'm about to show you is HubSpot to MailChimp. And then you can also do MailChimp to HubSpot. And this will make more sense in a second. So you're going to sign up for a Zapier account. If you don't have one already, I highly recommend you get one. It's pretty cheap for what it does. And what you're going to do, let me just go back here so you can see. Once you get your account, you're going to click on Create Zap. And once you create the Zap, you'll see this area. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in HubSpot. So you're going to find HubSpot and you're going to trigger an event. And what event do you want to trigger? So you can um, trigger for a new deal, new ticket, new contact, new company. Um, and you can also do new form submission. So that's what we're going to do. But you can choose any of these and play around to see which one is best for what you're trying to do. In this case, we're going to do a form submission. So we're going to do new form submission. And then from there, what we're going to do is choose our HubSpot account. So make sure that you have the right HubSpot account. You can tell by if you look at this number right here, 5062, you see 5062, you know you have the right one. If you don't have your HubSpot account connected, it'll give a button that says connect or sign in to HubSpot and you can just sign in really easily. Or if you want to add another account, you can just click on manage connected accounts and then add from there. Once you have your HubSpot account connected, click continue. And then from here, you can select the form that you want to have those submissions go from. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to click on continue. And now we're going to test this out. So you got to make sure that you have some submissions in your form before you can test this out. So I have some submissions here. I've got my email name. Um, make sure that you test it uh, by submitting a fake detail basically in, on the HubSpot form side. And then you can see all that information that I just showed you. All right. So after that, you're going to click this little plus icon and then you're going to search for MailChimp. So we'll search for MailChimp and then the action event is going to be add or update subscriber so we can add a new subscriber to before we dive into the rest of the video we like to thank our video sponsor cart fuel cart fuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in hubspot all you need to do is connect your stripe or paypal account configure your payment form by adding countdown timers coupons or order bumps then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site including wordpress or hubspot pages did you mention cart fuel has one click upsells that's right your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click but you want to know what's the best part when a sale occurs with cart fuel your customer's name email address phone number and products they purchase will teleport into hubspot it's like magic this means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates all this and more with no custom code needed try cart fuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video all right let's get back to the content audience of our choosing or we can update an existing subscriber as well so we'll click on continue and we'll choose our MailChimp account. So we'll choose this one. We'll click on continue. And then from here, we're going to choose our audience. So I have an audience here already set up. And then all we're going to do is map the trigger. So from step one, we're going to map that information. So all you need to do is click on here and find the email from field number one. So it says one. This is basically pulling the data from one right here. So this is the email. Um, you can choose if you want double opt-in. We'll say no. 
um, update existing contact sure first name you can pull from the first name and then last name you can pull from the last name and that's all you need to do and if you have other fields that you want to map you can do that so like for example my address I have somewhere here oh I don't have that address, but I have the city state country street oh yeah here it is so there we go street address and then city San Diego and you get the idea you just map it out so state you don't have to do this part I'm just showing you what's possible um, and then the postal code I don't have it which is not needed so let's do the country instead there we go right there boom okay perfect so then you get the idea you can map these fields from the form submission for example if you have um, a field in this step that's not here um, what you can do is you can create a custom field and then it will show up here so to create a custom field if you don't have a field uh, that you want here to map all you need to do is you need to go to your audiences and then once you're in the audience dashboard click on manage audiences and then go to sign up forms and then from here go to form builder and then in this area you can then add um, your custom forms um, and you can give it a name and all that good stuff that's a whole nother video but it's pretty simple okay so back to here now that we have this all mapped out we are going to click on continue and now we're going to click on test and review and let's go back here so it looks like we do need a postal code if we are going to send that information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just remove all this stuff because for this specific form i actually don't have a postal code so i'm just going to click on continue and just send the information that i have so we'll just send that information right over and there we go so a subscriber was sent to mailchimp so let's go into our mailchimp account and see if that subscriber has made it here we are there i am perfect so now with this subscriber you can now send emails from mailchimp um with you know whatever you want to do inside of mailchimp right um but at least you get the functionality of hubspot crm with the forms and then you can have them submit those forms go right into mailchimp using zapier so once you have this set up all you need to do is turn the zap on by clicking on this little toggle and you're good to go so every time that you uh submit a form using this particular zap it's going to send a contact into mailchimp and then with that information inside of mailchimp you can send automated emails or campaigns to your audience so that's how you do it let us know if you like this type of content leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and leave us a like we really like likes over here because it helps get this content to other people like yourself thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video